All right, so in continuation, I'm going to do 4.3, number 6, and I'm going to do Part B, okay? Part A is a very specific example, and it should be just like the one, if you watch my first video on simplifying exponents, it should be exactly the same, okay? Same process. Part B is actually combining the two ideas of specific and abstract. So really, part C is some identity. So it doesn't matter what A and B are. If they follow this pattern, it's always going to reduce to whatever we get for part C. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this part, and then when you do part A, and you compare A and B and see how they worked exactly the same. Okay. So B says 2 to the 5th, 2B quantity squared, 2B squared, quantity squared, divided by b to the fourth, 4 squared. All right, so know that 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So later on, I'm going to make this substitution, okay? So I get 2 to the fifth, 2 squared, b squared, 2 squared, b to the fourth, divided by b to the fourth, now I know that 4 is the same as 2 squared, so I really, this number right here is 2 squared squared, so I have 2 to the 4th. Okay. Now at this point, if you want to, I can simplify the numerator, so that's 2 to the 5th, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's 2 to the 9th, and I have b to the 6th. In the denominator, I have 2 to the 4th and b to the 4th. So I can simplify those by using my rule of division, which means I subtract. If the base is the same, I can subtract the exponent. So that's 2 to the 5th b squared. Okay, that's my answer. Now, I could have, if I wanted to, just said, okay, I'm going to look where I'm at right here and notice that I have a b to the 4th and a b to the 4th. So those reduce nicely. I also have a 2 squared and a 2 squared which I know I add the exponent, so that's 2 to the 4th, which canceled to this one, which leaves me with 2 to the 5th b squared. Now, notice these two are equal. Okay, It's just whichever method you like better. Now, go ahead and do C, and notice that it's going to reduce to the same kind of pattern. 